Yes, indeed. It's the Pixies. Here comes your man, Tony Tone, Vintage Sound, 93.1 FM. Normally, when we talk about the Jessica Piney Memorial Ride Music Festival, it is a, a sausage fest in here, quite frankly. Uh, this year, it's different because there's, uh, well, there's uh, there's two dudes and two ladies. It's balanced out a little bit. <laughs> uh, Matt Piney's here. Tanya Piney's here. And Becky Anson's in the house for the first time. Although, T, I think this is your first time in the studio, too, maybe. I think it's both for- yeah. First time for both of them. Okay, yeah. but Matt's been here several times. Oh, once or twice, I think. Several years. <laughs> You're right. So, seventh annual event, um, the Jessica Piney Memorial Ride Music Festival has grown so much that you, for the first time this year, correct? Yes, sir, first have, time. Have added a, a second night of music. Yep, I had so many bands coming at me that wanted to donate their time to play. Um, I was just stuck. I mean, I didn't want to turn them away anymore, and approached uh, Dave down at the brew and he said of course let's do two nights so wow. we're going with six on Friday night and seven on Saturday night you know what they say double the bands double the days yep. double the work oh no actually it's a little better because we just set up the stage and everything's done on the first night so now this year at the ride on Saturday we don't have to set up nice so everything will be done we're just gonna give away some coffee and donuts to the riders coming in for free <laughs> and uh Kind of trying to hook them in with some free coffee and donuts, and uh, uh, we'll have that right on Saturday. So we'll have to set up. We'll just roll right out. Is this one of the first years, and it seemed like the weather, co- obviously I was there, the weather cooperated last year, but, you know, tomorrow and specifically Saturday, you might have 90 degrees. Awesome. Sounds like a great day for a bike ride. Right. Yeah. So that's yeah. the thing, and we experienced this last night at the we Hilltop did. for bike night. It yeah. was busy. So you should have some some good numbers yeah we're hoping it should be great both nights should be awesome definitely i I think so as far as numbers goes uh because it's not going to get cold at night for the bands you know and that's which is nice but Mm -hmm. i mean out on the ride it should be perfect weather absolutely Uh, can't ask for anything better so for people that are listening and i'm jumping ahead a little bit but people that are listening that ride a motorcycle that maybe have never participated. It's open to everybody, right? Yeah, oh, yeah it's not just motorcycles, cars, trucks, cool. vans, jeeps, uh, golf, ambulances, golf carts. golf carts if you can keep up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bicycles if you're really quick. Um, but, yeah, anybody's welcome to come down. We have some really cool things going on the ride this year. Uh, we're going to do a Bug Assassin, which uh, you can buy a little sticker for 5 bucks. Nice. And uh, put it anywhere on your car, yourself, your helmet, your sunglasses. We don't care. Um, but we'll ride that ride, and when we get back, whoever has the best bullseye with a bug gets a trophy. <laughs> so I've yeah. never heard of that before. Yeah, it's kind of cool things you can do on a ride. And then, of course, we're having a bike show there at 5 o'clock at the brew from 5 to 7 after the ride. $5 entry fee, another nice trophy for top three spots. And the participants for the music festival will have to vote on the bikes nice so they'll be able to walk through and go through the bike show and stuff like that where's the ride going on saturday and let's uh, where's it go where's it leaving from what time okay registration opens at 9 a.m at riverside park go through the cedar street entrance down there it's still open on the riverfront we know the construction's going on but follow your way through the detours and get down there mm-hmm. uh we'll leave at 10 30 um, we're, if we do a ride we don't do a poker run sure uh, and i'll tell you why here in just a second because we're going to stop at Buffalo at Judy's Barge Inn for about an hour, hour and a half. Just take a stop, get some breakfast, chill out, whatever you want to do. And then we'll get back on and ride over to Ducky's. And room 212 is going to throw down two hours of some kick butt music like nice. they always do every time. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, our lunch stop will be about two hours long. We'll eat, listen to live music, get back on the bikes and jam over back to Muscatine. I know it's short bike time, but we call it a ride, not a run. That's yeah. why you don't see a poker run in the, in the title. It's a ride. So makes, it's about music. Yeah, yeah. It makes total sense. It is about music and the, the fact that the bands donate their time. Yeah, and they're driving all the way to Duckies on their dime, too. So That's – yeah. All right, so, yeah, it, this whole thing is just great. Um, if you haven't come out for it, you really should, uh, whether it is both nights, tomorrow and Saturday, or just one night, right. whatever your schedule allows for as you're listening. Um, as we talk about Friday's music, T – you want to talk about the bands that are playing? You don't have to do it if you don't want. Yeah. I know that it's nerve wracking. We have some good bands coming yeah. on. Sure. We have a uh, Perfectly Broken okay. with Becky. Mm-hmm. We've been trying to get her years to come play Aww. with us, and she's finally agreed this year. It <laughs> happened. Then we have Powerless coming on. Mm-hmm. Good guys, really nice. And we got a blues band, QC Slim. Yeah, that dude can play the guitar. Yeah. Holy moly. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he's really good. And then we got downside. Cool with Terry Osborne and mm-hmm. all the guys. It's gonna be some kick button music <laughs> coming on here. 
<laughs> so Friday's lineup is great, and uh, it continues. yeah, it continues. Yeah. We got Old Man's Curse at ten. Yes, Muscatine Originals. Yeah, and then you have Face and Time with JD Colson and all the guys. So yeah, it's going to be a good night. It is, and for five bucks for each night or two nights, eight pass for eight. eight dollar pass yes. available on Friday. Just yeah. do that, right? right? Right on. Why miss the first night? Well, and as we've talked about this, as far as music and Muscatine, uh, you'd be hard-pressed to ever find another example of back-to-back nights with this many bands, with this much variety, right? right? Yeah, it's cool. We've, we've covered just about every genre we can, you know. Yeah. We've got a country on Saturday night. Well, you don't have any acapella, so, I oh, mean, Well, we've got you some know. cool acoustic. I know. I'm going to throw out a little Yes. All right. So, (laughs) Becky, um, for you, I mean, you obviously you know these guys, Pineys, and why was it important to want to get involved? I mean, I'm Mm -hmm. sure that you've you've attended. I mean, you you've you've sang a lot and you sing very well. But Uh why were you so excited to be able to get involved with the uh, the Mm -hmm. seventh annual event? Honestly, well, music, of course, is my life. Mm -hmm. Um, I committed to this. I wanted to years before, but we always had this annual country club gig. Sure. <laughs> so um, this year was a great opportunity. Honestly, I, it is overwhelming, the support in the music scene, it, not just in Muscatine, but the Quad Cities. I mean, 1152, they're coming again. They're headlining Saturday night. I mean, this this band just released their CD. Another, you know, they just put out a new original. And I mean, it, it's just it's it's just surreal. It's humbling. It's the power of music is never going to go away. Mm-hmm. And like they said, you know, we've got such a variety of music. So to me, this is really important, not to mention the meaning behind why we're all getting together. Correct. You know, organ donor awareness. Mm-hmm. And, and it's it's just such a powerful thing. And it's growing and it's making more awareness. And Pineys have done so much to commit to that time. And I'm just really proud to be a part of it. It's just, I'm really excited about it's it. It's going to be fun. Uh, so let's let's look at Saturday's lineup. So for music, gates are opening at 4, four, o'clock. four o'clock. Okay, so and the lineup is just solid. Whoever wants to run through it is totally Go fine. Ahead, uh, yeah. So let's start with, uh, so gates open at 4, and then we have, who yep. kicks it off? Double Barrel Band. That's the mm-hmm. country band, yes. is that right? Yeah. They were at the Hilltop last yes. night. It was yep. a blast. Oh, good. Yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then so uh, Blitzkrieg Squid, yes. um, which is the Those most uh, unusual <laughs> name that I love yes. to say. So fun, though. It rolls off your tongue. They were a blast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, love Dogs. I mean, come mm-hmm. on. We listened to Love Dogs how many years ago, yep. you know? Love the Love Dogs. Uh, Seven Shy, absolutely. Muscatines, you know, premier rock band, going to really bring the house out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, First Impression, that's my rock band, and we're going on at 8.45 to 10. Sweet. And then we've got Room 12, 212 following, which is going to be amazing to have, you know, all of us bang, bang, bang like mm-hmm. that. And then, of course, 11.52 at 11.30, closing out the night, so... Eleven yeah. fifty two is uh, they're they're just terrific. There I mean, they, are. they just start and that show is is nonstop. Just chest, but if you feel it, it yeah, um, it's been it's been really cool for us to uh, and they're not able to come in and speak with us. You know, they're in the Quad Cities, but these guys have taken this show and in, into heart as everybody else. You know, they're driving clear down from the Quad Cities on mm-hmm. their dime and stuff just to play. Um, we're going up. On September 30th, they have their release party there in Rascals, so uh, we'll be up there for sure, banging, head banging right at the front row. <laughs> Bust, Dustin loves it when we get up there, you know. For him to tip, for him to have guys that know the, their music down here too, because oh, we man. swing right along, he loves it. Yeah. And we'll just feed that crowd, and they will bring down the, they will bring down the house at the end of it. So proceeds, Iowa Donor Network, Jessica Face Closet, uh, seventh annual event. My goodness, seventh annual, and I just uh, I just wanted to put a quick. Uh, shout out here this is the first year we've ever done it in memory of some few people and uh we've lost some people close to the life riders this year and, and as well as 1152 we're running this year in memory of rachel nypert that we lost this year we're also running it in memory of john parham the founder of jmp cycles who's always been a good sponsor for us he passed away he was a long recipient mm-hmm. and we're running it in honor of eric uh Eric Flores' his dad from 1152, who rode the ride the last two years, and he passed away in February suddenly. So we're going to run it in memory of them this year. That'll be the first time we've done it in memory of 
somebody other than Jesse. So we'll tie them in that night, have some banners down there for people to sign and That's stuff cool. like that. So we got some cool stuff going on there too. It's really cool to see the banners out in front of uh, Uptown. Yeah, promoting yeah. the event. We and gotta go tear them down today. Thanks for reminding. <laughs> thanks for reminding me, Tony. That's where I'm heading right now. Well, I tell you what, if you haven't made it out, uh, again, whether you're there Friday, Saturday, and you do the ride and you do both nights of music or whatever, or if you just stop by, or you just learn more about organ donation, whatever Absolutely. this can spur someone to do. Sure. That's what it's all about. Um, the and let's let's remember Sharon Phillips down there. At yeah, the, at Jessica's closet, everything she does for Muscatine She's and helps a great run lady. the closet. Yeah, yeah I like to give her a shout out too, so we don't forget. There's so many people to thank. Right. My sponsors uh, are is a huge list. Uh, the Brew uh, Young Brothers Stamp Works, where I work at, mm -hmm. every year steps up and helps us with the stage and sound. And you know, I I'd, I'd love to run through it, but I know we've been, we've been talking a long time anyway. So, but the <laughs> list is huge. And thanks to all the sponsors here in Muscatine that have always stood behind us. And you can find that on PearlCityLifeWritersRC.com on our webpage. You guys and I, we live pretty close to each other. Yep, right, down, right up the hill. Yeah, and when I come home down 8th Street, I, I know where you're at, and I always think about what happened all those years ago. And having kids myself now, it's, uh, I mean, this, this is an event that will be supported by the radio station as long as I'm here, and if I ever leave, they'll continue right. to because it just makes awesome. sense. Uh, the last thing I want to say is that, you gave T something pretty cool. Was it yesterday or? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make you cry, but you told yeah, me yeah, was about cool. this yesterday at the Hilltop, and I was like, oh, my God. And it'll be a good shout out for uh, Julie Berry at, I want to say it right, Junket, uh, Junkie Jan Junk Teaks. But she's through, uh, she works down through the candle shed there yep. with Piper. Julie's and uh, 17 years ago, I guess, no, 19 years ago, when she passed, we have had we were given a locket of her hair. And it's been set in an envelope all these years. And this year I just decided I want to do something special. So Julie took and put it in a locket. And uh, I presented that to her up at the cemetery up, uh, yesterday, the day before, Tuesday, Tuesday yeah. So it's, it's awesome. So Jesse will be with along on the ride and stuff like that. And it was really cool. And, uh, yeah, go down there and support local business. You know, yeah. it all can be done here in Muscatine. Uh, it's really it's really cool. I mean, I when T showed me last night, I was like, oh, my gosh. I had no you know, yeah. I, I can't believe it. It's and so it's local made. It's a local made jewelry. It's here right here in Muscatine. Yeah. So I it's hope really I didn't cool. chop up Julie Berry's <laughs> name of her business too bad. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a really cool name. But, Julie and yeah. Mark are good people. They're yeah. they're fine. Right, I mean, cool. it's it's a thought that counts, and it is right. really cool. So again, seventh annual Jessica Piney Memorial Ride Music Festival. Two nights of music. It's absolutely jam packed. Friday, gates open at 5, Perfectly Broken, Powerless, QC Slim, Downside, Old Man's Curse, Facing Time. Saturday, Motorcycle Ride uh, with stops at Judy's Barge Inn and uh, Duckies with Room 212 playing. Then those guys are going to play again. Saturday night, gates open at 4, it's Double Barrel Band, Blitz Creek Squid, Love Dog, Seven Shy, First Impression, Room 212, and 1152. It's worth your time. Uh, you should be at both nights, but if you can only swing one, whatever. Whatever, yeah. It's yeah. only five bucks a night, so yeah. you can't get in. Oh, yeah, dollar cover, dude. Yeah. That's insane. It's like so much music for eight bucks if you're going to do the two day pass. Well, let's pack the lot. That's what we always push for. Get yeah. your friends out there. Get your enemies. Get your <laughs> get your mother, your dog. Your other. <laughs> bring them all down there. Let's just, let's fill up the lot and have a good time. I'm so glad you guys came in. Thank you very much. And uh, here we go. It's here tomorrow. Can you believe on. it? Yeah. We yeah. have one more day one of. More day. Well, you just got to take Woo. a banner down and then do whatever yeah. else you have to do <laughs> today. <laughs> and I gotta clean my bag because yeah. I'm still carrying around uh, Canada bugs on it. I, <laughs> you know, I, I rarely wash that thing. So. All right. Listen, get on Facebook or go to PearlCityLifeWritersRC.com. It's a wonderful event, and I encourage all of you that are listening to show up. Thank you all for coming in. I appreciate Thank you for it. Having us. Seventh you. annual Jessica Piney Memorial Ride and Music Festival starts tomorrow, two nights of great music. Again, all the bands volunteering their time, and that's pretty cool. Wednesday is more than just hump day.